I have genuinely spent what feels like so much of my life trying to understand what a healthy relationship with food looks like. I've delved into the vast world of nutrition, wellness, and diet trends. I've watched hundreds and hundreds of what I eat in a day videos where people claim that drinking greens on an empty stomach changed their lives or that cutting carbs out of their diet miraculously cleared their skin and the list goes on and on. It's easy to get caught up in the promise of quick fixes and a one-size-fits-all solution, but I've come to realize that the path to a good relationship with food is unique for every single one of us. Battling to find a good relationship with food can be so challenging, and it's deeply a personal journey. In today's world, we're bombarded with conflicting messages about what's healthy, what isn't, how should we look. It's so easy to fall into the trap of viewing food as the enemy rather than what it actually is, right? So it's a source of nourishment, pleasure and comfort. Embarking on this journey is not just about the food that we put on our plates. It's about cultivating self-love, compassion towards ourselves, and realizing that perfection is not and will never be the goal. Instead, it's about focusing on creating sustainable eating habits that we enjoy, that we can maintain. It becomes a lifestyle, a way of nurturing our bodies and minds. Now, I think we can all agree that the constant stream of diet trends and transformation stories can be so overwhelming. But it's so crucial to remember that there is no unique approach to nutrition, and that's okay. We are all so beautifully unique, and what works for one person might not work for the other one. It's truly just about working with our bodies and understanding our own hunger and fullness cues. It's about appreciating the wisdom of our bodies, which know exactly what they need at the end of the day. today we're having toast with ricotta and figs and i actually saw like a youtube short i think from emily mariko and she was doing that and i used to do this with like goat's cheese but she put ricotta and i couldn't stop thinking about it this morning so i had to make it mm. so good I booked to go get one of those giant croissants which are just literally all over TikTok, all over Instagram. Finally, so I booked it last weekend and they only had availability to go today. So I'm going today and I'm so excited. So that's going to be my little morning snack. And yeah, I hope it tastes good. I'm really scared that like it's just like super dry and hard because I don't know, I guess it's really hard to cook it, right? But let's see. I'm wearing these jeans from Good American. This top is Abercrombie. This is Abercrombie. And yeah, let's go get a giant croissant. Wanna go walkies? You wanna go walkies? He doesn't believe me. He's like, you're saying we're gonna go walkies for half an hour and you take so long, woman. I'm sorry. Honestly, this bag, I feel like it doesn't do it justice, right? It is much bigger, but the croissant has been secured. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, we're finally doing a little taste test. Oh my gosh. Mmm. It actually tastes so nice. Probably like the inside of it will be way softer and nicer. But it's actually super tasty. I'm surprised. Ta -da! Embracing variety has also been such a pivotal part of my journey. Our world has so many flavors, cultures, and cuisines. There's so much to enjoy in exploring this diversity. So don't ever let one meal or one day define your entire relationship with food because that's part of the journey. There is no single food group that is the enemy here. It's recognizing that food is not just fuel, but a way to connect with our bodies, celebrate life, and find so much joy and nourishment. Having purple sweet potato, which I discovered like last week and it tastes a million times better than any other sweet potato I've tried. Um, I don't know how many there are, but I've only tried another one, so maybe that's not true. And tomato salad, salmon, and then this like lentil dal that's like left over from a few days ago. So yeah, and I just put butter in this and it tastes amazing. This 
this is literally my life. Just throwing him the ball every second of the day. Anyways, I've just been sitting here for like... <laughs> I've just been sitting here on the floor on like my little coffee table. Just editing and working on the podcast a little bit. Which when you see this video, if this video ever comes out, because literally everything I film, I never post. Um, yeah, so it should be out by now. It's 5 p.m. now, and it's time for a snack. I literally, those people that like just don't eat snacks, I will never understand. I will never understand. Like, I literally need to eat half a meal before dinner, otherwise I will starve. But. So I'm just going to use some of the croissant that I have. So obviously I didn't eat all of it already. That would be concerning for my stomach. Um, and I'm going to just like put it with cheese and ham and then toast it like a little toasty. I love doing that. And I don't know what else I feel like eating. Probably like some yogurt and some nuts or something like that. Here's my little setup. Let me show you. Yeah, so I've just been like recording editing and then editing also on my phone the video that i'm going to post tonight on tiktok so yeah let's go make a little snack i have been filming what i eat in a day videos for a couple of months now and it's important to clarify that i'm not here to claim that my videos represent the perfect diet or whatsoever the idea of a perfect diet is an illusion and it can lead us down a path of endless comparison and dissatisfaction with ourselves. What I share in these videos is not a universal prescription, but a reflection of just my own personal journey, my preferences and my needs. It's the perfect diet for myself, not necessarily for anyone else. My goal is and will always be to inspire you to be able to find that place for yourself, a place where there's no striving for perfection, but a state where you're thriving because you are nourishing your body and your body will thank you. Remember, it's always about progress and not perfection. This is literally what I've been doing while my croissant heats up. Eating my boyfriend's leftover meatballs and gnocchi that he had for lunch. <laughs> okay, let's taste this. Excuse me. Thanks. I want to try the one with ham and cheese first. I have now changed into my pajamas for the night. This pajamas from the White Company, they make the cutest pajamas, honestly. I love buying one like every year. And yeah, they're super, super soft, super comfy, and they always have like some cute designs. So, anyways, I also put pimple cream on my face because. I'm breaking out so bad, I don't know why, like I don't know if it's because I've eaten something, but I feel like I haven't changed anything about my diet, so I don't know, maybe I'm just really stressed. Who knows? Anyways, um, yeah, so tonight I'm gonna make a lasagna. I haven't made a lasagna for so long, I feel like I used to make it a lot when I was at Imperial last year, because it was just like such a quick and easy meal. Um, but yeah, I haven't made it in a really long time, so I'm really excited to actually make it. And the thing is, I actually do it with, let me show you all the ingredients. Um, ow. Uh, that I actually use. So I'll use um, this, if it focuses, hello. So it's like made out of lentil, 100%. There's no wheat in it. And honestly, it changes the flavor so much. And I genuinely prefer it so much more like... Not that I don't eat um, the regular pasta. I mean, as you guys know, I eat pasta every single night. 
but yeah i feel like this changes the lasagna so much and i honestly really love it but yeah so this is the veggie that i put um i honestly change it just depending on what i have so tonight i'm just gonna do like half an onion because this onion is really big actually like a carrot then a pepper and i'm gonna put some spinach in it this is the minced meat and then i just mix all of that together add the tomato sauce done and then you just layer it with the um, with the what with the bechamel sauce and then you just put cheese on top it's actually super easy um yeah so i'm actually gonna preheat the oven at 180 this is the pimple cream that i've been using probably for like five months now and genuinely this is the best one i have found i have tried so so many and this is the one that i've been using okay but yeah here's the bechamel sauce that i'm talking about this is the one that i always use um, I feel like here in London, there's not that many, so this is just the one that I found that tastes the best. Um, one day I will make it myself, but that day is not. I know that it can seem so overwhelming and sometimes so impossible, but I'm here to tell you that it is very much possible and finding balance can truly become a reality in all of our lives. In my What I Eat In A Day videos, I always try to be as authentic, as realistic as possible, not just filming perfectly nutritious meals, but also all the sweet treats I have. Because I do love something sweet basically at all times of the day. So the same way your body might sometimes need a nice big filling salad, sometimes it needs a few big cookies and that's okay. Here's dinner for tonight. Let's do a little taste test. Oh my gosh, this actually looks so good. Out of 10. You need to make this. Time to get some seconds. Hey, yummy. Time for dessert while we watch Virgin River. Actually, today we only watched one episode, so that is an improvement. Um, but yeah, we all know that we're gonna watch like 20 episodes tonight, so. Yeah, I know, I think that's what he was searching for before. Anyways. Yeah, okay. We are gonna have, well, I don't know about him, but we're gonna have dates with chocolate and a little tangerine. That is all for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to take care of yourselves and I will see you all very soon.